It's just Bruce, he don't bite. <laughs> Hello. In 2005, YouTube was founded. Uh, uh, this channel has been around for nine years out of the 18 years that YouTube has been around. Prior to the nine years that I'm in this channel, I had a channel for five years uh, back when I was a DJ and a stand-up comedian. And that was a big channel, but I don't have that anymore. I turned it off. So this is actually my second uh, YouTube channel, which has changed. It's not the way it used to be. It used to have all kind of wild stuff on it. Anyway, with that said, I've been around for about 14 years on YouTube studying it. I watch YouTube a lot when I'm working in my shop. And I just want to do this. This is about the good, the bad, and the ugly points of YouTube from a Gen Xer's point of view, someone my age. So let's dive into it right with my very first point. Very first, we're going to do a good point. The good thing about YouTube, it's very informative. Anything you want to know or learn, you can find it on YouTube. I mean, you can literally search how to boil water. And there's people making videos of how to simply boil water. And that goes the whole way up to complicated stuff. I mean, I've used YouTube to look up uh, how to change a starter in my Subaru. That's how I learned how to change a starter in my Subaru rather than take it to the garage. I'm not really a car guy. I mean, I know enough that I earned this beard, but I'm not really a car guy when it comes down to the harder stuff. And I'd never changed a starter before, so I watched a YouTube video and bang, got it done. It was easy. And then it even gets into the most complicated things that you might never even think of asking. Like uh, I saw a video about how to perform dental surgery and uh, who would YouTube that and who would want to do that themselves? I mean, that's what dentists are for. But that's still that's still on the good side because it's so informative. Anything today is, any information is just right there at your fingertips. Anything you want to learn how to do. You want to learn how to cook something, YouTube. You want to, I think I made my point. Bad part about this subject is sometimes they're wrong. Sometimes you can look something up, have an instructional video that somebody does, and they're just flat out wrong. And then you go and try it and you just wasted your time and money doing a wrong technique or something like that. Um, the ugly side of uh, this part. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation on current events out there. And like I personally, I don't even watch the news anymore. But there's so much misinformation on current events. There's false facts. Um, the, the best ex the best the example I can use is the sovereign, sovereign citizens, which is a problem here in the United States. Um, it's people that just decide they're not going to listen to the Constitution. They're not going to listen to the laws of the country, the laws of the land, whatever you want to call them. And they think laws don't apply to them. Now, I'm not going to name names and give examples on YouTube of who, who's actually doing this. But it's all over the way. It's all over the internet. If you Google sovereign, how to become a sovereign citizen, places pop up and they have this all this informative stuff to read. And they'll send you a book. It's called, I'm not going to tell you what the book's called. But they send you this book and then they, then they tell you that you don't, you don't have to have a driver's license. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. You don't have to have a driver's license. You're traveling. I'm sure you've probably seen a few of the videos on YouTube. The problem with it is they're preying on stupid people. I'm sorry. You live in America or any other country for that matter you have to follow their laws and a law here in America is if you're going to operate a motor vehicle on public roads you have to have a driver's license period now that's just a basic tip of the iceberg I could make a whole new video complaining but that misinforms people and people actually believe this stuff and they're going they're driving around and giving the cops a hard time like I said check out some of the videos if you want just search sovereign sovereign citizen you'll see what I'm talking about but the problem is on YouTube, it's people that are actually selling this material to people. They're ripping these people off that are believing it. I mean, it's almost like a cult. I hate to say it, but it's almost like a cult. Like I said, ugly side. That's all I'm going to say about that part of it. Let's go back to the good side. Let's talk about something good. Uh, there's some funny stuff on YouTube. Um, you know, just going through, you can see a lot of funny videos. Make you laugh, make your day, you know, put a smile on your face. And if you're a YouTube creator, that's another thing. YouTube creator, uh, content creator has been a brand new term that's come 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 across since 2005. Uh, I don't know what to call myself, but that doesn't matter. We're not talking about me. There's just a lot of funny stuff, and it's entertaining. And it's it's a lot of times it's uh, creators just having fun, saying you know just doing something funny and make you laugh and make your day a little bit. You know, kind of like a video meme. The bad part about this kind of subject is you have to be afraid to joke around anymore. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I, I've done stand-up comedy, you know, 10, 15 years ago. And uh, I, I wasn't a really raunchy comedian or anything like that. I just make, I'd make fun of my family. It was a safe thing. But I did pretty good for a little while. Um, and then, you know, being be bipolar and everything, just it just kind of never matched up. There'd be nights where I just didn't feel like being funny. And that doesn't really work in that career. But nowadays, you have to be afraid of what you say. You can't joke around with, with because someone's going to get offended about something. 
anything. It, it, there's so many subjects that just there's always somebody ready to raise their hand and say, I'm offended, and I, I can't stand that. Which goes into the ugly part of it, which, you know, you, you, you try your hardest to be funny and you're saying something that you think is hysterical, and then someone's uh, eventually just going to call it offensive, and then you get canceled. Or they get canceled, you know, whoever. It's just, it's just almost not worth trying to be funny anymore. Uh, it's just so hard to be funny, especially for a guy like me. I laugh at everything. I mean, everything's funny to me. All right, let's go back to the good. You ever seen the Karen videos? I'm actually going to put the Karen videos on a good side. Uh, it actually teaches us what not to do, how not to act. It teaches you if you go into a restaurant, show some respect to the wait staff. If you go to Walmart, be respectful to the people that work there. Don't be that Karen fool acting like an idiot getting caught on video because that'll ruin your life. You might not agree with me on this one, but keep in mind, this whole video is just my opinion. But on the bad side of it, filming these people filming these Karen videos, the people in the background, they're innocent. They don't have anything to do with it. Do they really want to be in the video? They really can't do anything about it unless they're children. You can't put the children in. But in the state of Pennsylvania, because I've researched this because I am a content creator, it is legal to video anywhere public as long as there's no expectation of privacy. So I can go into Walmart and videotape the entire thing. There's no expectation of privacy when you're in the, it, it, they say, oh, it's private property. No, it's still a public environment. Um, now, you can't go into the dressing room. That, there's your expectation of privacy. You can't go into the bathroom. There's your expectation of privacy. You can be walking down a public street. No expectation of privacy. You can videotape everybody, including the cops. And it's completely legal here in Pennsylvania. Now, there are places that you can't videotape in in Pennsylvania. People still do it, and they end up getting thrown out or trespassed. Uh, one is the courthouse. If you go to a courthouse and you try to videotape people coming in and out of uh, court hearings, that's an invasion of privacy. The bank, also privacy. Things like that. Another thing I like about YouTube is, on the, on the good side, is there's fun-loving people who enjoy making videos. I love seeing someone who has a passion that just wants to make a video like I do. I am happy with just making videos. Sure, I don't have a lot of subscribers. I've got 2,600 subscribers. Um, I've been taking this seriously since 2020, even though the channel's nine years old. Uh, so I have 2,600 subscribers. Hey, I'm glad people are along for the ride. I'm glad people like the, the variances in my channel and the different things I do. In fact, speaking of which, if you're having a good time and you're still sticking around, how about subscribing right now and give me a like? That would mean a lot to me. But on the bad side of that, some of them are just doing it for the money, and you can tell. Because a lot of their videos just sound like an 8th grade book report they're reading like this while they're showing uh, video gameplay all over the screen while they're just reading something they wrote down a script. I can't stand scripts. Maybe I should script some of this stuff. I have a flow chart today that I'm looking at, that I, the point, bullet points that I want to go through, and then I'm just winging it because it's just how I talk. Um, but yeah, some of these people are just doing it for the money. Money I get, it's really not worth even talking about. I think in six months I made 100 bucks. In six months. That's not a lot. That's, and consider how many videos I put out. I don't do it for the money. I do it because I enjoy sitting down here in my shop talking about things and if somebody wants to listen somebody's like-minded hey you're welcome to be here i'm glad you're with me and i love the discussions too so you know, you know put anything in the comments keep them respectful we can have a nice dialogue and we can disagree that's the good thing about it if you have an opinion it's okay to have an opinion different than mine and we can talk about it civilly and uh maybe you change my opinion maybe i'll change yours you never know but it's all in good fun i mean come on and then it goes to the ugly side where some of these people not only do it for the money, but they are obsessed with making videos. Every five seconds you look, you see people putting out three, four videos a day. Every day. Now, I know I have put out three videos in a day in the recent past uh, because I had the time to do it and I had the inspiration to do it. But every single day, I, I could not live like that. I could not live like that. I make the videos whenever I feel like it, whenever I have some time. But you get these people, they're so obsessed in their ego. They think the whole world is watching them and what they say goes. And those are the ones that are dangerous because then they start sharing their views like being a sovereign citizen or uh, other views. And we're not getting it into politics. That's the closest I'm going to come to politics talking in any of my videos because I just think they're weird. I don't pick a side with politics. I just sit back and laugh because it's just a joke anymore. Um, but they, always, they have to be the center of attention all the time. I know a guy that's basically... He's probably going to see this, and I, I have said it before, but the guy's ruining his life. He's just completely ruining his life because he so, wants to be the center of attention so much on the Internet, off the Internet, and, and he's just 
pushing it too much. Relax. Have fun with it. Woosa. Just enjoy your channel, man. Enjoy what you're doing. You know, there's other things. Like I said, I don't make money off this channel. Told you how much I basically make. I will refer to my eBay store, you know, Jenner Custom Toys. Um, I do like you guys there, and hopefully you like my stuff. If you like my stuff, buy it. If not, hey, that's okay. Thanks for looking. That's about the closest I come to that. And I can be a big attention whore sometimes, but not with this. Let's go back to the good stuff. I don't want to talk about bad stuff for a moment. Um, good thing you can see live situations. And what I mean by live situations is, is like, I do like the police body cam videos. Um, I like watching just funny things happen. Um, you know, like accidents or people fall on their face and stuff like that. It's, it's funny. Uh, sometimes the prank ones are, you know, as long as they're good pranks and no one's getting hurt. I like seeing that. It's entertaining to me. Then you go to the bad part. A lot of them are staged. And you get people becoming famous. And there's so many people out there that think they're real. Oh, this, oh that really happened. No, it was staged with bad actors. And you can tell. And the number one sign of how you can tell is that camera angle is just too perfect. It catches it from beginning to end. If something weird's going to happen, someone's going to catch it halfway through with a, with, a, with a film. Or a film. Jeez, you're showing my age with a video. Someone will catch it halfway into it. You know, oh, well, i got to videotape this, and they're missing half of it. But if it goes from point A to point Z, it's probably fake. Um, let me use one for an example. Uh, real quick, it was a Karen video, an old Karen video. Most people have seen it. It was that uh, uh, this lady in a, in a store saying, I'm trying to help you. And she's trying to preach the word of God to the guy telling me he's going to hell. And, and, and it, she did like 10 videos just acting up like that. They're all fake, you can tell. But people to this day still think some of that's real. It's not. It's not. It, it's not. It just isn't. It's been proven she's done at least 10 videos. Even tried to make herself look different, but you could tell. Because she reminded me of Beulah Ballbricker from Porky's. Yep, show my age again. But like I said, this is a Gen Xer. Yeah. Anyway, they're staged. I hate them. I hate the ones that are staged. Now, if you're staged to make a life lesson point, like a bully in school. I saw one that uh, this kid was just being bullied and stuff like that. And he, he ended up turning around and losing and kicked the ever the heck out of the guy that was bullying him. And, you know, it was a, it was a lesson. Okay, I'll accept those because they're entertaining. Um, and, they, you know, they're there to teach you something. But the other stuff, it's just fake. Going into the ugly part of this, you got your liars. The people just get on the Internet and lie. And I can't stand that. Uh, a few years ago, there was a dude called Tourette's Guy. And he was faking Tourette's Syndrome. And the videos were funny. And at first, I thought they were real. And then it came out later that he was faking it. And, of course, he's gone now. Uh, there's a girl more recently did the same thing. She got on her told her buddy she had Tourette's and was faking tics and everything like that. Well, of course, it's, there are people with Tourette's Syndrome. I happen to know someone that has Tourette's Syndrome. And that's probably why I realized this girl was full of it anyway. Then, sure enough, a few months later, she got proved that she was faking it. And the whole Tourette's community just basically blackballed her. She got canceled on YouTube. And she got what she deserved because she lied. Don't fake an illness. There's too many people faking illnesses to collect disability and everything as it is in this country. Don't fake on YouTube and try to get other people's sympathy and get their money for something that isn't true. I'm going to on it. And the last part of this ugly part is AI. Um, I, I'm kind of starting to get against AI. And now I see that AI is actually producing. Oh, there was someone setting it up. And this AI is actually making their own videos. They're stealing sections from other people's videos. Karen videos, body cam videos, things like that. Freak out videos. And they're putting them together and then they're reading over top of it in an AI voice. Um, and you could tell because an AI voice is not going to talk like me where I stutter and stammer all the time. So do most people that are just doing YouTube videos. If we were that good, we'd be in Hollywood. Let's face it. Uh, I'm not that good. But you could tell they're reading it perfectly and mispronouncing words that shouldn't be mispronounced. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen them. You might not have even realized you were getting read to, by, read to from a robot. But uh, I, that's, I'm putting that on the ugly side because I don't think... Even Stephen Hawking said AI is going to be the downfall of uh, American uh, social media. So we'll see what happens. I, don't, I hope it doesn't happen, but who knows. All right, next good point. Next good point is cooking videos. I love cooking videos. I love making them, and I love watching them. Um, I love, like, I'll take a dish that I already know how to make, but I'll watch somebody else make it on YouTube just to see uh, what they do different. In fact, just from doing that the other day, I, I learned a, an alternate way of cooking mushrooms to make my chicken tetrazzini. And I used that way for my chicken tetrazzini. And I'll tell you what, it made a big difference. I learned something, and it was really good. So I don't have a problem with that. That's the good part of it. 
The bad part about it is a lot of people are getting on there. They're stealing other people's recipes or they're looking a recipe up on the internet and they're calling it their own. I'm not cool with that. Not cool with that. My recipes that I put up there are my own recipes that I developed over the years. Like I said, I'm a 40 year veteran chef. Um, not a military veteran, a veteran chef. I got to be perfectly clear about that because I just realized I'm wearing my famous camouflage hat and everything. I'm not a veteran. But I am a veteran chef. 40 years. I just I just decided to retire this year. I just had enough. I'm not going to go on about that. But yeah, they steal recipes and they put them up as their own. And they're not even that good. They're just something off Pinterest or something like that. Then they're like, oh, well, here's this is my recipe, an old family recipe. No, it's not. The ugly side. Ugly side of the cooking vids. Bad cooking. Sometimes you get people on there that are just teaching you the wrong thing. And if you don't know how to cook and you use these people's methods, you're going to make your family sick. Nobody wants that. And I'm going to refer to two YouTubers when I say this. Uh, cooking with Jack Show. He is just, if you watch some of his older videos, mm, I, I've seen him eat raw chicken on, on, on the air and say it's perfectly safe. Sorry, Jack, if you're seeing this, I'm sorry, but it's true. You've done it. And you, the videos are still up there. And uh, just some of his cooking techniques are just cringe, completely cringe. But believe it or not, there's one worse, and that's Kay's Cooking. It's an English woman who cooks in her kitchen. She shoots a very low-budget very low budget uh, videos, kind of like mine. I mean, I admit it, I'm low budget. But when she cooks, oh, oh man. And I'll tell you what, if you want the cliff notes of their two, their two sites, August the Duck. That is, um, that's a dude that he gets, he gets on the internet and he he rips on people's cooking stations, cooking. He takes their video, rips it apart, and he criticizes it. It's kind of funny to a point, especially when he gets hold of one of these two uh, videos. But he just tears them apart, and he'll pour, he'll pour, it just so you can get the most best of both worlds if you go see August the Duck. I'm waiting for him one of these days to grab one of my cooking videos and try to put me down. The problem with August the Duck is he's wrong a lot. Uh, there was a, yeah, this is a very very simple one too. Rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. Uh, I think it was cooking with Kay was using it, or it might it, it's either the the Jack Show or cake it doesn't matter somebody was cooking rice aroni and when you cook rice aroni it's in a box it's if you don't know what rice aroni is if you're not from America it is it's the San Francisco treat it's rice and it's instant rice it's not instant rice you still got to boil the hell out of it but it comes in a box and the first thing you do is melt some butter in a pan throw the rice in there without anything else and you saute the rice and stuff in there so it crisps up and it adds flavor to it then you add the seasonings and your water and boil it and it's done. Well, the, the person doing it put it in the butter in the pan and was sautéing, and he's having a fit. So that's not how you make rice. That's not how you make rice. That is how you make rice aroni, and he caught a lot of flack for that. But he's made a lot of other cooking mistakes, too, whenever he's criticizing people. And if you're going to criticize someone, you should know what you're talking about. Otherwise, keep your mouth shut. You could say, I wonder if that's the right way to do it, and then do some research and correct yourself. That's what I would have done, but I know how to make rice aroni. Another reason you might want to subscribe is sometimes I put videos up and they get deleted the next day. Uh, case in point, the other night I got a little inebriated and I played uh, my piano for a while. I tried to play Rush E, and if you know music, Rush E is the supposed to be the hardest piano song to play in the world. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get drunk and play it on YouTube, and I did, and it was terrible. But it was also funny because I made fun of myself the whole time. Well, the next day. It got taken down. Somebody reported me for alcohol abuse or something. I don't know. Uh, they had me dead to rice, so I just deleted it. I said, let it go. But you'll get notifications on anything I post. Because sometimes, if I don't like a video, I delete it within an hour or two. But it gives you a notification, gives you a chance to watch it and see how I screwed up. I'm just saying. Anyway. Now, it wouldn't be fair of me if I didn't do a, a good, bad, and ugly on my own channel. So... Yep, my, my, my channel's not perfect. I'm just happy to be here. See, and here's what's here's what I think about my own channel. Uh, good, bad, and ugly. Good. I'm real. I'm a real person. The one the, who you're talking to right now, this is the same way I would talk to you across the table drinking a cup of coffee. Except today I'm drinking iced tea, and a lot of it. Uh, I am. I this is just how I talk. Um, I swear a lot more in real life because I'm trying not to get demonetized. But other than that, pretty much the same guy you're getting. I'll, I can have a discussion about anything. Um, I have a temper. You know, sometimes. Uh, the bad part. I'm a terrible actor. <laughs> I, I am. I'm a terrible actor. If you've, seen, if you've seen some of my Carl videos, you can see how terrible of an actor I really am. But that's okay, because I make fun of myself. It, it's funny. 
Uh, the ugly part. I know I'm ugly. <laughs> it is what it is. It, 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 it don't get no better. This is me. I, I'm not going to use a filter and make myself look 30 years younger. I'm not going to. No, I'm just ugly. That's the ugly part of that. Back to the good part. I think my videos, for the most part, are informative and entertaining. I try to make you guys laugh. Uh, I do weird stuff sometimes. And sometimes I can be serious, too. But I'll do instructional videos for the resin, for the cooking, and, and anything else that might pop into my head. that Because I, I like to teach people stuff. And when I do those videos, I do it 100% seriously. Um, but other ones, I like to goof around, make people laugh. You know, I like to give you my opinion. And I'm also willing to talk about my opinion. I'm not real pig-headed. I'm not going to... Nothing's written in stone with me. It's I'm happy to discuss things. Uh, the bad part, I jump subjects a lot. All my videos, instead of just picking one genre of videos, like uh, just doing Star Wars toys, or just doing resin videos, or just doing cooking videos, I jump around. I do whatever I feel like doing. And that shows I've, I've done over 250 videos, I believe. And they're, they're all a little bit different. The ugly side of it, I'm wrong sometimes. When I'm doing an instructional video, let's use resin for example. I'm not going to use cooking because I've been cooking a long time. And whereas my videos might not be the same way you do it, uh, it's everything I've made on my cooking 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 videos has been very tasty. Um, yeah, but some so things I'm wrong about uh, resin casting. I started seriously resin casting back in uh, uh, 2018 or so. And uh, I learned how to do it through YouTube videos. And my daughter's an artist, too. She, shot, she showed me a lot of stuff. And uh, I've done instructional videos as I was learning. You know, hey, I'm going to learn how to do this today. And I put I, they're still up. I put them on video. And it uh, turns out either found an easier way later or I was just flat out wrong. And I admit that. Uh, I've admitted it in the videos. Um, I leave my mistakes in whenever I do an instructional video. If I screw something up, it stays in. Because I want you guys to feel that uh, it's okay to make a mistake. It's okay. You make a mistake, you start over or fix it. One of the two. Shouldn't feel bad about it. Too many people do these instructional videos where they're making something, they're building something, and it comes out perfect every time. Every time. Let me tell you something, man. It don't come out perfect every time. They probably cut all the bad stuff out and made another one and put it at the very end. I don't do that. I'll show you my, or my mistakes. Hey, that's all I got today on the good, bad, and the ugly of YouTube. Uh, it's your choice, you know. If you agree with me, that's awesome. If you don't, hey, I'd like to hear your opinion too. Uh, leave them in the comments. Um, don't know what my next video is going to be. Uh, yep, don't know around Christmas time. I might show you something good or who knows. I might get on here and just tell some jokes. I never know. I don't have anything planned at the moment. Well, I do have one thing. That's not it. Look, I just, I just have papers to make myself feel important. Anyway... <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching this far. Uh, like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I will catch you next time. Bye. It's just Bruce. He don't bite. <laughs> Hello.